You are listening to Practical and Woo by Mindset and Manifest. My name is Eden, and I invite you to embark on a journey with me to explore the practical and spiritual edges of the unknown for the purpose of allowing you to embody and empower yourself uniquely as you are and to intentionally create and live a life of freedom and fulfillment. Each week, I'm going to discuss topics such as energetics, reality creation, manifestation, astrology, tarot, human design, and more to help empower you to live beyond perceived limitations and to practically design your life so it feels like absolute magic every step of the way. Let's dive in. Well, hello, brilliant soul. Thank you for taking the time to be here with me, immersed in a conversation that may or may not leave an imprint, a nugget, a mind seed with you that will have a ripple effect in the perception of your life's experience. Today, I want to talk to you about time. Time wears many costumes. It's a currency, a resource, a continuum, a man-made tracking system. It feels fast. It feels slow. It changes based on the seasons or because someone said so, the controversy of daylight savings. It's different in different countries. It's something we often feel we're running out of or don't have enough of. It's something we don't prioritize and then also overcommit to. It's something we spend mindlessly and also regret not getting it back. Time is elusive, and yet a deep understanding of time can offer you clarity, understanding, and fulfillment as a master tool of reality creation. One of the key paradoxes of time is that When you intentionally slow down and become more present, you gain the ability to create more time. When you are hastily running around your day like a chicken without its head, the hours flash by and you are often left with the sense of unfulfillment that you didn't get done as much as you wanted to. The next day moves the same way and then the next and the next, to the point where you find yourself waking up with dread, berating yourself with guilt-laden thoughts of, how can I possibly be this busy and still feel like I'm behind? What if you changed your time priorities a little bit? Instead of running around your life in a whiz and blur riddled with stress and haste, you allowed yourself to stroll. Strolling means you take the time, cherish the time to savor precious moments throughout your day. It means you take the time to get intentional about your priorities and to choose how you want to move through your day. Now, I'm not negating that you have important things to accomplish as the steward of your life. Yes, you have obligations. Yes, you have priorities. Yes, you are busy. Please allow me to be clear. I am by no means suggesting that you give up living in the practical world, sell all of your earthly possessions and move to a tent in the mountains, unless you really, really, really want to do that. However, having more people know and choose to bend time in the way I'm describing will actually make civilized society a kinder, gentler, and happier place to be. So you are needed here. Cherishing your time makes more time because your moments turn to memories from the past. Intentionally investing your time makes more time because your actions compound and pay off in the future. In other words, Allowing yourself to live with focused attention and intention in the present moment paradoxically gifts you more time 
in both directions of the past and the future. In order to embody the sense of having and gaining more time in your life, you must live in your present moment wholly, fully, and completely with, as thought leader Melanie Ann Layer says, one foot in gratitude and one foot in desire. So why does slowing down help? The art of slowing down to a stroll from a rushed run means that you are making choices for yourself and your life that are either creating beautiful, vibrant, and picturesque memories of your experiences that contribute to the expansion of your past, or you're allowing yourself to invest in priorities that compound and make you more time in the future. I would venture to guess that you likely understand what it's like to make more time through memories, whether or not you've been intentionally allowing yourself to do so in your everyday life as a fully-fledged adult. And if you're doubting yourself, then I challenge you to call to mind a snapshot of your past that you cherish deeply for the way it made you feel. It could be a childhood memory, maybe a first dance, a passionate kiss, an exciting adventure, the kind of memory that you know you're going to sit and call upon when you're 120 and it will still continue to light you up like a sparkler, the kind of memory that you can live again and again and again and still Feel the ecstatic bliss and pleasure of experiencing it for the first time. If you are rushing through life, then you are missing the chance to create memories like this. You are missing the chance to expand time. Memories that make your life rich, meaningful, and worth living for. Guess what? It's never too late to turn any next moment you have into a memory like this. I believe it's a worthy goal. And the paradox of this is that you can't force it. It comes from living wholly in your present moment with an authentic appreciation for the experiences you're having. So... What about expanding time in the other direction? While you're flexing your appreciation muscle and making memories left, right, and center, the present moment also offers you a portal to expand time in your future. The act of taking steps and making investments that compound and pay off. I should be more clear that I mean investments with your time and how you choose to spend it. There is a story of a father who goes to a child and says, would you rather have a million dollars today, right now, or one cent that doubles every day for the rest of your life later? The child in awe of the seemingly huge sum of money says, one million dollars, please. The child's father says, think carefully, my darling. Even though the option seems less valuable, a certain kind of magic happens. One cent turns to two cents by day two and four cents by day three. And in 30 days, one cent turns into 5,368,000 Seven hundred and nine dollars and twelve cents. In one year, the child would have over sixty four million dollars, sixty four times more than the first option offered, and only in one year. An interesting thing happens with time. The child was given the option of taking a big step now or a smaller step that had the potential to greatly condense the time it would take to have $64 million. All the child had to do 
was to see the potential in the little step and the investment in the long-term choice would make magic in their future. It can sometimes feel so tempting to look for a get-rich-quick scheme or to take the grand leap towards our desires in rush, haste, and needing to get it done now. But the mere act of slowing down and recognizing the gifts bestowed in the present moment begets you more time to actualize your desires and to wholly appreciate the life you're leading. Now that's a mind seed. Are you going to water it, fertilize it, and offer it sunshine? Until next time.